in the last lecture we created a sign token method now let's work on creating a generate token method which will call that sign token method to generate an access token as well as a refresh token so let's go back to vs code and in here we have this private sign token method now we are going to call this sign token method from a generate token method so again i am going to create a private method it should also be an async method and i'm going to call this method as generate token and this method here it is going to take a single parameter which is user and this user is going to be of type user entity and in order to use this user entity inside this auth service file we are going to import it now inside this function we are going to do two things first we are going to generate an access token and second we are going to generate a refresh token now in order to generate the access token we are going to call this sign token method so here i'll say this dot sign token and to this sign token method first of all it is going to run asynchronously so let's use this await keyword and this sign token method it is going to return us a json web token so let's go ahead and let's store it in a variable and let's call it as access token okay and to this sign token method since we want to generate an access token first we need to pass the user id so that user id we can get from this user object so here we can say user dot id then we also need to pass the expires in here since we want to generate an access token we are going to use this dot auth configuration and on that we have a property called expires in so this property will specify the expiration time for the access token and finally since we want to generate an access token we also need to pass the payload so in this method we are already using this sub property but along with sub we also want to specify the email so here i'm going to pass email as an object like this and to get the email again we have the user object from that user object we are going to access the email property and we are going to pass this object as the payload so during the json web token creation from that object its properties will be extracted so here a new property called email will be created whose value will be the email of the logged in user okay so in this way we are generating a access token now here if you see this object which we are passing here it is partially the active user interface type so in here we have this active user interface this active user type interface and in that we have two properties sub and email and if you notice the object which we are passing here it has email property so we can say that this object which we are passing it is a partial type of active user type so here for this sign token method if you see it is of generic type for that generic type we can specify the type as partial of active user type okay all right so in this way we are generating the access token now in the same way let's also go ahead and let's generate a refresh token and again to generate the refresh token we are going to use the same sign token method so i'll use the await keyword and then i'll say this dot sign token and this time in order to generate a refresh token we just need to pass the user id so here i can say user dot id and we just need to pass the expiration time so that expiration time we can get from auth configuration and in that auth configuration we have a property called a refresh token expires in so for the refresh token we want to set the expiration time as one day so i'm going to use this property and this will return us a refresh token okay finally from this method what we are going to return from here we are going to return an object and in that object we want to have a token property which i want to assign with access token so basically this variable and then i want to have a refresh token property and that i want to assign with this refresh token variable okay and this is our generate token method now in the login method 
where we were trying to create this access token and this refresh token instead of writing all this code what we can do is we can simply go ahead and we can call generate token method and this generate token method it is generating both the access token and the refresh token and it is going to return us that as an object so here all we have to do is we just have to pass the user object for which we want to generate the access token and the refresh token and that user object we are already reading here so i'm going to pass this user object to this method okay and this method it is going to return us an object where we will have the token property which will store the access token and we will have a refresh token property which will store the refresh token so i simply want to return that object from this login method so now whenever a user will successfully log in in the response he is going to receive an object where he will have an access token and a refresh token with this let's save the changes and let's go to the terminal just to check if the application is built successfully or not so here you can see the application is built successfully now let's go to postman and there let's try to log in a user so if you see previously we were only getting an object and in that object we have this token property which was storing the access token for that user but now if i send the request in the response now you will see we have both token and the refresh token and this refresh token can be used to request for a new access token whenever the existing access token is going to expire and how to do that we are going to see that we are going to learn that in our coming lectures this is all from this lecture if you have any questions from this lecture then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day